You're watching TV6 News. Well, tonight, the streets across the QCA will be filled with trick-or-treaters going door-to-door -door as they stock up on Halloween treats and goodies. And although this spooky holiday brings a lot of fun, it can also present problems for those driving at night during peak trick-or-treating times. Not far from our studio, TV6's Kayla Page joins us live this morning with some helpful tips for parents and kids. Kayla? Yeah, good morning, Dustin. The day has come. As the sun begins to set, children of all ages will prepare to head out on the streets in search of the night's most delightful pleasures. But have all safety implementations been considered first? Well, you've got your costume, got your candy basket ready to go, but there are a few things to know in terms of how should you walk and how should you carry yourself as you head out about the streets? Well, AAA has a few fun facts and tips to help you and have a safe and helpful night. Now, number one, of course, is being alert and visible. Now, experts recommend wearing some sort of reflective gear or something, maybe even glow, attaching glow in the dark sticks to your costume to help be seen and be visible. Also, to not draw a walk in, um, distracted, making sure you're off your phones, keeping an eye out for other trick or treaters who may be on the, wind, on the way, things like that will also help keep a nice, safe night. Also, staying on sidewalks, making sure you're not in the middle of the roads as those cars are driving by will also be a helpful tip as well for you to know. And then finally, crossing the street responsibly, make sure you're looking both ways and will help in case you do have to come into any sort of kind of intersection. Now, Downport Police and Fire Department also have some tips for her blows to have a fun and safe night. First of all, we always say be seen, be safe, right? The higher visible you are and uh, the more that you travel in groups so that people can see you, uh, the safer that you're going to be throughout the trick-or-treating night. They are, if you are without your kids, what are they wearing? You know, take a picture beforehand how they're dressed um, in case there is a separation. Uh, we know what kids are looking for. They went out dressed as this. Um, those types of accountability are huge for us. So again, as officials said, uh, appearance is key. Wearing those reflective gear, having those glow sticks, attaching your costume, just making sure you are being seen is very, very important for parents to remember as they prepare to head their children out tonight. Live in Davenport, Kayla Page, TV6 News. Kayla, thank you. Great tips there for everyone to remember.